welcome children welcome to your mathematics class today in mathematics you are going to learn rotation before learning entering into your topic rotation let us recall our last week portion what we have learned last week yes 2d and 3d shapes let us recall the last week portion 2d and 3d shapes as a fill up fill in the blanks your first fill up a shape that can be laid on a plane surface or 2d shapes so you have learned as a definition what are what are 2d shapes a shape that can be laid on a plane surface or 2d shapes next one what are the examples for 2d shapes square rectangle triangle circle and pentagon so these are all some examples for 2d shapes next third fill up 3d shapes are solid objects that have three dimensions you know very well last week i explained to you about the 3d shapes it is a solid object and it has three dimension fourth fill up 3d dimensions are length breadth and height so 3d dimensions are what length breadth and height next the fifth one what are the examples for 3d shapes cube cone sphere cuboid and cylinder so these are the examples for 3d shapes cube cone sphere cuboid and cylinder are 3d shapes sixth one in cube and cuboid opposite sides are equal already you have learned about the cube and cuboid so cube means you have to draw uh, two uh, square things in square what all the four sides are equal and rectangle opposite sides are equal so in cube and cuboid opposite sides are equal seventh one a dash is an image that has a closed curved surface up to a depth of distance from the center a sphere is an image okay a sphere is nothing but example for what a ball a sphere it is an image it was having a closed curved surface okay children now eighth one in cone height and slant height not equal in cone if you take in the shape of a cone the height and the slant are not, height are not equal next we will move on to the ninth one ninth fill up the distance from the apex to any point lying on the circumference of the base is called as a slant height tenth fill up the distance from the top of the cone to the center of the base so from the top of the cone to the base base means the downward position the base to the center of the base is called as a height so now these 10 fill ups you need not take down now children now next we are going on move on to the topic rotation you just observe these topics you just listen what i am teaching then these 10 fill ups and what i am going to teach that uh, questions everything i will send it through your whatsapp you can copy down once and take a snap snapshot and send it through what's up to your concern max teachers okay children now let us look on to the rotation what is rotation we'll see when we rotate the shapes are rotated the images are rotated depending on the point the point is called as center of rotation okay the particular point is called as what center of rotation now let us see one example with the rotation of the square let's see the rotation of the square just observe children it's a square shape okay you observe that the edges are marked with the alphabets observe clearly a b c and d so these are the alphabets marked at the edges now see that the square turns into one fourth turn now you can observe the alphabets gets changed in the place of a you have d and in the place of b you have a 
and in the place of C you have D and in the place of D you have C. So now the square has get rotated to one fourth turn. Now next one the square get rotated to half turn. So from one fourth to half turn. Half turn is nothing but the from the top to bottom one rotated. That is just upside down it gets rotated. That is called as a half turn. See now the alphabets gets changed. Okay this is an example for rotation. Now let us move on to the exercise 1.1. So under this exercise you have four problems. You just listen all the four problems what I am teaching. End of this class after the session I will send this four problems notes as well as the 10 fill up notes through WhatsApp. You just write, you just copy down once in your rough note and take a photo snap and send it through the WhatsApp to your concerned teachers. Okay. Now listen. Problem number one. Among the following shapes, find out which one would look the same after one fourth turn. Put a tick mark. So what did the question mean? So when you rotate these shapes one fourth, just means just one fourth turn, just half turn. That is not half also, just you have to treat it to the 90 degree. I think you will be not knowing familiar with your angle. Just you have to uh, from right to uh, right side you have to turn when one fourth I will just show the examples when you rotate to one fourth whether it looks same or not we have to find. Let us move on to the each shape. Now the first shape this one see how it get rotated to one fourth so the shape won't get changed or not. Yes the shape gets turned it, it doesn't look same. Okay next you see the flower shape when it rotate to half one fourth turn See the shape doesn't get changed. Okay. Next see the triangle. So here the shape gets changed. See the circle image. This is your question. Actual question. See the image of the circle. When it rotate to one fourth. It doesn't change. It looks same. Resembles same. Next you look into the house like this shape. When it uh, turns. It resembles different. Okay. The shape is not same. See the cross, it looks same or not? Yes, it looks the same when it turns to one fourth rotation. And the next one is the diamond. See when it gets rotated, the shape doesn't change. It looks the same. Now this shape, it gets rotated, the shape gets different. It doesn't look the same. Let us move on to the answer children. See the look at the question now. Among the following shapes, find out which one would look the same after one fourth turn. Put a tick mark. Yes, now you have seen all the shapes when it rotate to one fourth turn. See, the first shape doesn't look the same when it rotated. So, it won't come. Next, the flower. Yes, you will get same when it rotate to one fourth. So, put a tick mark. Then the triangle won't be same. But the circle is same. So, put a tick mark. Then house won't be same, but the cross is same, put a tick mark. And the diamond looks the same when it rotates to one fourth. But the, the last one, the hexagon doesn't look same. Okay, I think have you all clear with this? Now let us move on to question number two. Among the following letters, find out which one would look same after half turn. In the previous question, you have learned about one fourth turn. Now we are going to learn about the half turn. X, H, A, N, B, O, J, I, T and S. So these are the alphabets. When it turns to half turn, whether it looks same or not, we have to find. Okay. The half turn means what? Just you have to rotate to upside down. That is called as a half turn. Let us move on to each alphabet. The first alphabet is X. Observe children. So when the X gets rotated, that is when it rotates to half turn, it looks the same. The next alphabet is H. When it rotates to the next thing, it looks the same. Very good children. Is it, please guess, when it rotates, the A get rotated half turn, whether it looks same or not. Guess children. Is it the same? No. Very good children. It doesn't look same because it turns to the upside down. The A shape will get, if it rotates to half turn, it looks like this. Next alphabet is N. Yes, when N 
rotate to half turn it looks the same and your next thing is b alphabet b so the alphabet b rotate to half turn it doesn't look the same o alphabet o looks same or not yes alphabet o looks the same when it rotate to the half turn so j won't be look same it will be different when it turn to half turn i i will look the same d what about d so d won't be look same next the last alphabet is yes whether yes look same or not yes yes looks the same when it rotate to half turn now let us move on to the answer for this question okay so what is your question actually among the following letters find which one would look same after half turn so now look at the solution the alphabet a b j and d won't look same understand try to understand children it won't look same when it rotate to half turn but the alphabet x alphabet h alphabet n alphabet o alphabet i and alphabet s so these letters will will look same when it rotate to the half turn are you all clear about this children any other doubt you have if you have any doubt you can clarify it okay children so the alphabet x h n o i and s yes. when it rotate to the half turn it looks same as it is okay shall we move on to the third question yes now question number 3 find the numbers which will look same on a half turn now in the previous question we have learned about the alphabets first question we have learned about the shapes that is different uh, shapes we have learned and the next question we have learned about the alphabet rotation of half turn now we are going to learn about the numbers rotation of the half turn now we'll move on to each numbers now now first number is 1 when it rotate upside down it comes under one itself but the number 2 it will look different okay it is not same when it rotate to a half turn the number 3 it won't be look the same when it rotate to a half turn then the number 4 it won't be the same when it rotate to the half turn same the number 5 won't be same when it rotate to the half turn what about zero number can you guess yes the number zero will look same when it rotate to the half turn and the last number is 8 what do you think children yes 8 looks a same when it rotate to a half half turn so now the question answer is over now each numbers we have learned in detail now let us move on to the solution so the number 2 3 4 and 5 when it rotate to the half turn it resembles different it won't look same as it is but the number 1 number 0 and number 8 will be same when it turns to a half turn is it clear children yes number 1 number 0 and and number 8 looks same when it rotate to a half turn now we will move on to the last question question number 4 how the following numbers are changed after half turn before previous question we have learned each numbers but here it is given like a digits uh, okay it is given like a digits that is uh, totally five five numbers in each thing now we have to find whether it is half turn also it looks same or not your first question is 58 is there that is what is that 88 88888 so 58 is there when it rotated it looks same or not yes it looks the same the answer is same when it rotate to the half turn it looks the same the next one is 10101 so it is also looks the same when it rotate the next question is you have 51 11111 you have so it is also looks the same the next question is 80808 so it also looks the same 80808 so all the here four questions given all the four question numbers will when in it rotate it looks the same Okay, children. Now the first exercise 1.1D is over. All this four problems, as well as the starting, I taught you the ten fill up. All these things I will just uh, send it as a PDF through WhatsApp. 
So you please note down all these things in your separate rough note and take a photocopy and send it through the WhatsApp. Okay, to your uh, to me. Okay, children. Now in the to, uh, next class we will learn about the symmetric and net. The other things we will learn in our next class. Thank you, children.